Hi, my name is Garth, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up FOMO for your Shopify store. So the first thing you do is, I've dropped a link down here, is you'll click through and add this link. Now you can do this from inside the Shopify um, panel as well, or you can go through here and click on this green button to get. Now it's actually got a 7 day trial, so you can try it out. And um, I'll show you what FOMO does, but basically it's for social proof and the purchases um, that happen on your store. They actually get displayed uh, uh, on the actual page for when, when people come along and they see that and they can see that there's actually people buying from your store. So that's the idea of it. And um, we'll quickly run through the dashboard. I'll show you the dashboard of it. So this is uh, inside the dashboard. You've got the menu up here. You've got the message basics, uh, design settings, analytics, events and integration. So the first one is the, the basics of it. You've got the how it looks when the message comes through. So you have some variables like you can choose first name, in which city, country and purchased and the link of the product and also how long ago it was, whether it was five, ten minutes ago. So you've got all these different variables you can choose. Then we go on to the design settings. <clears throat> so one, you can enable it or disable it. You can loop. So that means it goes through when they run out, it will go through it again. Show on mobile, you can test this and see if you're happy with it. I'm happy with the on our store, so we run it on mobile. Uh, you can choose random order. Um, you can allow the users to close the modifications and also delay. The delay times can be different. You can randomize those. And this is what the different... You can actually do your own theme or your own CSS, but this is what it looks like. It has basically the product that you have and then it will say, you know, someone in uh, this location purchased this and it will say the time, how long ago. And this really creates um, social proof that other people are buying and people feel comfortable with that. And then you can choose all your different options, delay how many times on, on a page it would appear, the display time, uh, delay between notifications. And you, you sort of need to try these out for yourself. And uh, But these are the settings I have for it. And also languages and the position. I found um, bottle, bottom and bottom left for the desktop. So then we go into analytics and this is where you'll see how many notifications show and how many clicks and you'll see a graph of that there. Also for events, this shows all the orders that come through and has all the details of what the actual um, notifications will look like. And you can actually delete them if you don't want them or you can import recent ones as well. Integrations, so now um, with it being changed, it used to be called Notify App, now it's called FOMO. And they've actually put a whole bunch of integrations in there now. So you've got Yotpo, Judge Me, uh, Shoelace, Zapier, Instagram, and they're adding more as you go along. So these can, um, uh, you can put all these in and link them up. Uh, I haven't done any of that at the moment. I'm just using the standard one and I'm happy with that. So that, that covers the basics of it, but it's definitely helpful for your store. And if you've got any questions, drop them down below. If you're actually using a FOMO for your store and you're getting good results or you're not getting good results, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.